one of the brachial pressure syndrome and side F spousy is clumpy spousy. The condition is very disabling and awareness about its etiological factors needs to be created. Clumpy spousy occurs when there is an injury to the lower trunk of the brachial pleasures. The brachial pleasures comprises nerve bundles or a group of nerves which provide both sensory and motor functions to the upper limb. The brachial plexus has nerve roots ranging from C5 to T1, involving C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. The upper roots are C5 to C6, and sometimes involve C7, where the lower roots are C8 and T1. When there is damage to the C8 and T1 nerve roots, Clamky spousy is therefore caused. The most classical presentation of clamky spousy is claw hand. This is where your child will have flexed but flexible phalanges with partial flexion of the wrist. One of the challenges about clamky spousy is that it has poor prognosis. Normally, it takes longer time to be well treated. Most mothers begin to lose hope when they see no much improvement after considerable follow-ups are done. Clamky spousy are most of the time diagnosed in babies after delivery. However, adults can equally be diagnosed of clamky spousy in instances where the fellow falls from a height and grasps onto something the shoulder pulls up superiorly causing the lower trunk of the brachial plexus to stretch. This could be one of the ways an adult could have clamky spousy. The cause of clamky spousy is unknown. However, there are various available risk factors that could predispose your baby's risk for developing clamky spousy. Difficult delivery due to fetal macrosomia, breech presentation and shoulder dystocia. Could all be a factor that will force your doctor or midwife to forcefully pull the child. This will go a long way to cause stretch in the lower trunk of the brachial places, causing clamky spouse. Not only that, traumatic cases, for instance, falling from a high spouse, you hold on to an object which makes your arm close in the superior direction, could also cause clamky spouse. The symptoms of clamky spousy will either involve stiffness in the elbow joints. Claw hand deformity, where there is blessed but flexible phalanges. There is also shortness in the affected arm, especially when you compare the affected arm to the normal side. There is also pain in the arm during passive stretching. There is weakness, mostly in the intrinsic muscles of the hand. There is corner syndrome, which most of the time not common in all cases. The corner syndrome involves meiosis, ptosis, and hypogrosis. And finally, retina and hypotenine eminence has become atrophied. Now to the treatment of clamky spousy. The treatment of clamky spousy is often very difficult. There is often no stiffness in the flexed phalanges, which the therapist could say he is stretching them with a cast or other techniques. But even with all the difficulties, physiotherapy will be an effective approach in dealing with breakup resistance injury. Some of the goals are geared towards reducing pain, improving strength and to encourage active usage of the child's affected arm using various techniques involving the following. For the cases that I usually treat within my department, often I do stimulation of the affected arm using TENS and electrical muscle stimulation options. The TENS may stimulate the weak nerve to improve its conductivity, whilst the EMS 
will stimulate the intrinsic muscles of the hand and even the muscles of the forearm. This also keeps the tone of the muscles intact and limits atrophy. Another one is manual stretching to the arm. This tool is also helpful to keep the joints flexible. The elbow often becomes stiff and manually stretching it through your mobilization technique will make it mobile and functional. Also, therapists can also utilize what is called constraint induced movement therapy to achieve active movement of the affected arm as we try to help reduce pain by using massages with shea butter. Don't use heat for the child as the child is not responsive enough to quantify the intensity of your heat applied. However, if the child can determine that, you can use mild heat to reduce the pain in the arm before even massage. You can also recommend cock up splints, which may have the possibility of keeping the wrist and the phalanges extended to inhibit the flex position. They are remained without the application of any such operative device. More importantly, it is also important to teach parents about proper handling techniques that will be helpful to limit further stretching of the lower parts of the brachial presses. This means telling the mother to avoid picking the child from the armpit and pulling the child's arm up. Also teaching her to always remove the unaffected hand first before the affected hand when undressing the child. In dressing the child too, mother has to put the affected arm in the clothes first before the unaffected one.